my gosh, humans, I think I just found the best life sim. It's called Two Pixelia, and the game is as if the Sims and GTA had a pixel baby. Sounds super fun, right? I have been obsessing over this game even before its release, and I'm so happy that I was able to take a quick look at the alpha version. That's why today, I will attempt to make you hype up with me by sharing the six things that I learned about Two Pixelia at its alpha playtest. Let's go! Number one. There's literally a lot of things that you can do in this game and I believe that Two Pixelia is gonna be big. The activities range from being a street performer to being a rock star or a burglar, be a professional basketball player, be a model, or even become the president. And nearly all activities here also have their own unique minigames. From residing at school to talking, reading, playing an instrument, or dancing, seriously, everything has a minigame. But they are nothing too overwhelming. Except maybe for dancing. I seriously hate that minigame. Number 2. The map is huge. Like it would take a couple of in-game days to visit every shop even if you took the bus. Though somewhat unfortunate for now, we only get to unlock a shop on the map when we've actually visited a shop. Like literally entering it. So this means that we'd really have to explore every corner of Pixelia. And honestly, even though it's in alpha phase, all stores on the map are already unlocked. Like you can enter all the buildings unlike in other alpha playtests that I've participated in and the game is already really fleshed out. It's gonna get even bigger too because the dev is currently working on a rural region for those that just wanna be a farmer. You don't have to worry about getting lost too by the way because we can always spin and track locations. Number 3. Characters also have traits, needs, and wants just like in every other sim game. We get to choose traits that determines what our character likes to do. This gives some sort of side quest that rewards us with prestige points, and we use these points to buy exclusive items. We also need to meet their needs and wants to keep them sort of sane. They also have other stats like talents that we could cultivate and attributes that could make our Pixelion smarter or stronger. Which, you know, helps when you decide to beat up other Pixelions. It's a nice game. Number 4. Like aspirations or traits, our characters also have a dream that we can help them reach. It ranges from being a burglar to becoming the president of Pixelia. Each dream has a couple of stages that our character has to reach and these also gives prestige points. Hey, hey, you, you! Did you know that we now have Mercat merch powered by Spreadshop? You can choose from many items like stickers, beanies, hats, hoodies, shirts, sweaters, and many many more. You can even edit the designs if you want it bigger, smaller, or even add your own little caption. So check them out at my Spreadshop below. Number 5. The cost of living is pretty high in Pixelia. You can get a lot of money from doing normal jobs and errands, but everything else is just a tiny bit expensive. If you ever want your character to be successful, then you also have to be a working student as getting a degree is required to grow your career, like in real life. Number 6. If you want a more GTA feel though, then just know that Pixelia is pretty dangerous. Like you can literally get hit by a car and you'd have to go to a pharmacy and heal up, or you can even get robbed. Super fun. Or, well, you can also be the cause of danger. Because you can steal, hack, probably accidentally run over people, break into other people's houses, or bully people for money. But be careful because you can also end up in jail. I'm getting curious about this feature myself. Should I try it? But anyways, just take note that this is all from the alpha version, so a lot of stuffs here are probably gonna change. Nevertheless, it's the best live sim demo that I have ever played if we're looking past the game breaking bugs because everything is just really fleshed out. If you are interested in seeing more about this game, then don't forget to do that like and subscribe because I will be streaming to Pixela. And also super duper thanks to our friend Mr. Jits for gifting me his Kickstarter backer alpha access. I had so much fun in this game. You have got to ask Panda and Sludgy how much fun we've had on my first playthrough and that's all thanks to you. Seriously, thank you so much Mr. J. And super thanks to our channel members too for your kind support as always. Okay, that's it for now. Bye-bye!